I sometimes screw up my own music if I broke it. almost half the strings of the piano. But we are always in the tuxedos and entails. Oh, this is uh, this is the old master. You cannot touch a thing. Discussing symphony, we may say it's classic, elegant, or perhaps sophisticated. But what really defines Chinese symphony and makes it stand out? The composer in residence of Shanghai Philharmonic Orchestra, Peng Peng Gong, has his own answer. Thank you for following. It's curtain time. My name is Peng Peng Gong. I am the resident composer for the Shanghai Philharmonic, and my annual concert, portrait concert, is this coming Sunday, July 9th. And I hope to see you there at Shouac. Peng Peng Gong, the 2023 portrait concert begins with classic paintings and poems from the Tang and Song dynasties, using an ethnologic instrumental symphony along with traditional Chinese costumes. It highlights the beauty of Chinese culture while creating a great opportunity for cultural exchange between China and the world. As the deputy director and resident conductor of the Shanghai Philharmonic Orchestra, Zhang Liang knows Peng Peng and his works quite well. 彭彭在这几年当中，他下了很大的功夫，就要用这种形式来表现中国的，呃，传统的音乐，或者说表现中国的文化的话，我觉得我们还是以抓住它的神韵为基调。你越是要用西方的东西去呈现我们中国的东西的话，所以我觉得你首先要吃透我们中国的文化的精神内涵。彭彭公 is a Chinese classical composer and pianist. He has established himself as one of the most gifted young artists of his generation. He started to learn piano at the age of five and graduated from the Faculty of Composition at the Juilliard School at age 13. Ten years ago, in order to elevate the originality of Chinese classical music while still interpreting the global classics, the Shanghai Philharmonic Orchestra set up a full-time resident composer position. This enviable offer was given to Peng Peng Gong at age 22. I had a chance to meet with the Shanghai Philharmonic Orchestra and Peng Peng for a closer look at how a classical composer works day to day. So we're going to check out Peng Peng's daily routines in his office. Peng Peng, what do you usually do in your office? I usually like to keep the loud work in the office and the quiet work at home. And because、um, I began as a piano player, so I would need at least an hour and a half every day just to review my skills. And the result is that I broke almost half the strings of the piano. You can't tell what what what, what I'm doing. This is the result when the pianist chooses to become a composer. This 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 one is the Yin and Luo Jiu Tian. This this one is to invite the the Qian Yue's first note to be quiet. 唐宋 Suite Opus 65 is a set of four short orchestral pieces inspired by four of the greatest poems from the Tang and Song dynasties. What we are trying to do with music is almost using music as a third language to translate the original. So it's almost like you're reading this, these poems, or you're or you're examining these paintings. With your ear, so、um, it's our job to make the music as user-friendly as possible. For example, the third piece from the Tang Song Suite, which is after、um, Li Qing Li Qing Zhao's famous love poem,、uh, 一剪梅 I try to translate word for word, phrase by phrase, by pretending that if there is a chanter, there is a speaker. 红藕香残，玉点秋。
kind of feel. It's almost like a happy sadness when she writes her last, most famous word. The second half will show a symphony of Chinese painting, Opus 66. This is a cycle of four orchestral pieces, each inspired by a masterpiece from traditional Chinese painting. So I'm trying to search my own voice through my own culture. And I, and I mean really combining, really thinking with authentic Eastern ideas and not just superficially in, in, you know, in importing this tune from that. It's too, I see that as the mission of my generation. And it's the main inspiration that we came up with this program. Well, after talking to Gong, I think he's young, he's talented, he has a huge sense of humor, but he's still a deep thinker. He's very push and go, but with clear goals. I'm really looking forward to his new compositions and the artistic concepts that flow from his music.